Robin. Yeah, so you're on here. There you go. Step under. Look. Downstairs. Got one of the injured. Injured? No, he is. So we've got. <laughs> we've got. Luckily, a cover. <laughs> practicing for the uh, for the piano dress. That we're ten minutes late for. You, me, run. Life of a dancer never stops. Hey, um, first of all, apart oh, it's ruined my hair, dickhead. Apologies for my last, second to last video, for some reason, the video when it was, um, uh, rendering on my phone, it just didn't use, like, the last five, four or five minutes, it just stopped, just cut out. So, now... We are to our last rehearsal before our dress rehearsal, which is the last major run through before our first show. We've got a couple of hours, so I've come back to the apartment just to get out of the theatre. It's a black box. It's quite depressing. So I've come back here to cook and I'm a bit of a planner. I pre-cut all of my veg this morning. Also, tensions are running really high. There's a, I'm not gonna lie, there's a few dancers who, they just, they rub each other up the wrong way, I think is the best way to say it. For the most part, it's been good, but today, actually the past couple of days, tensions have been running high. Like, I'm quite a, I'm a very zen person. It takes a lot for me to to get riled. Like it does affect me to a certain extent, but it just washes over me. Not my problem, it's theirs. I mean, we've been working for four weeks now and we've been seeing each other every day. I've tried to make the Sundays the only days that we do have off. I just try and just have a day for myself. Get away from everybody, get away from everything. Everything that's, uh, that's happened the week before. Wake up on Monday and then start, start clean. Start a clean, fresh slate. We've only got a couple more, a couple more rehearsals. Today and tomorrow. And then the next show after that will be our very first show. So hopefully everybody will have a nice lunch, get outside in the sun, get some fresh air and come back for this evening's rehearsal. It'll be calmer. We also, we do a lot less in the second half anyway. So there is less to go wrong. But we just need to get through today, get it over and done with. Ooh, smash out. That just jumped off. That's bizarre. Smash out, good dress, come to the show, boom. Four shows, and then we're out of here. Then I'm traveling around Australia. Do you know what I mean? It's like, why bother? Why get stressed? Chill out. You know what? It's also, don't forget, don't forget where we are, how lucky we are. We've been flown halfway across the world for free, dancing something that is it's a brilliant show to be involved in. And we're getting paid for it as well. It's, I mean, look. Like, it's not a great view. If you could see the view that way. Oh. But, you know, put things into perspective. Like, I'm here for free. This, this is my job. That I've been given an apartment and money to have a great time. And I feel very lucky. I feel really lucky to be, yeah, to be in this position. Like I've worked my ass off over the past 20 years to get to this point, to get these jobs. So that's why I'm so grateful and, and just, yeah, and just so happy and, and privileged. I understand that people out there 
who are a hell of a lot less fortunate. So everything I do, I do with a big, open, happy heart. All right, it's time to head back to the theater. I don't usually eat chocolate. I'm trying to be really quite healthy. But everybody says they're good, so. Gotta give it a go. It is another scorcher here. We're up to mid to high 30s. God, you always, I, well, I always forget air conditioning is everywhere and go outside and you're blasted. Just finished the rehearsal and shit hit the fan. Worst confrontation that we've had here. The next week, I mean, it's just not looking pretty. It's not looking good. I it really pains me. We all knew people were on edge. Yet they still just threw themselves into this into this argument. Yeah, tomorrow's gonna be a massive ball ache. It's I'm just not looking forward to it. This annoys me, these situations where people just don't they don't they don't think they just they just run in, they're like they're like a ball in a in a china shop. We're all susceptible to, to to freaking out and having our and having our moments. I get that. Just, you know, I just want this last week just to just to run smoothly, and enjoy it. I know, especially the shows. We've only got four shows. I don't want to go and and perform with this just with this bad negative energy, um, like over over us all. It's it's not good. It's it's not good. Like it will. You will be able to see it, um, if you were watching. It's it's that obvious. Because whatever you're thinking, it comes out through your body. So if someone's pissed off and doesn't want to be there, that's what they're going to give. You know, and it's not fair. It's not fair to. It's not fair to. All, there's hundreds of, or, or like I don't know how many people thousands of people who were going to come watch the, the shows over the four days. It's not fair to them. Yeah, oh, grinds my gears. You know, I'm here, do my job, do the rehearsals, work hard, do the show, have fun on my time off. Oh, anyway, day's over. Um, right now I'm really starting to get stuck in on my planning. For my next, for the next two weeks. Well, not for the next two weeks, but for the two weeks when I'm traveling around. I mean, I love, I absolutely love my little planning station. Got my map out of Australia. I mean, it's a big ass country, <gasps> but geeking out a little bit. I have a ticket to see. And I'll try and pronounce this correctly. Betroffenhart. Betroffenhart. Betroffen height. Basically, Crystal Pike choreographed it. She is amazing. Canadian choreographer. Her choreography is is just insanely beautiful. Uh, she choreographs uh, a lot for Kid Pivot as well. Go check them out. I will link them. It's absolutely stunning the 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 dancers that they have acquired. I mean, it's it's like watching water dance. That's the only way to describe it. They are just insanely agile and fluid. Um, yeah, absolutely stunning. But yeah, oh, I'm so lucky. Managed to uh, bag a ticket for that on our day off. It's gonna be so so good. Really looking forward to that. Such a treat. Such a treat. Yeah, here's my little my travel book. Right, I've got all my dates, what I was gonna do, but I think now it's all a little bit. Nah, it's changed a little bit. And then just looking at all the prices and doing. Look, and this is how much <laughs> I kind of really get into it. Look, there's a little drive. So this is me driving to Melbourne, then flying to Uluru. Then flying to Brisbane, then up to Cairns. 
Oh, I love it. I absolutely love doing this stuff. I just wish I had my laptop. It would be a lot easier. There is no way I'm going to travel with my laptop for the next two months. Mm -mm, not at all. Saying that, Henry is. So if I get really stuck, like, I can always use his. I might be doing too much. Basically, my plan is I'm going to finish here. I'm going to rent a car, drive to Melbourne. Two or three days, I'm not quite sure. But yeah, do the Great Ocean Road. I really want to drive in this country. So that's, that's, that's the plan. And then I'd love to fly over to Uluru. But in my head, it's really frustrating because where we are now in Adelaide, we are practically like south of Uluru. So I had a look at flights, but the flights, basically all the flights go from Adelaide to Melbourne to Uluru. So I'm thinking drive to Melbourne fly to Uluru, and then I did want to fly to Cairns, do the Great Barrier Reef, fly down to Brisbane, see my friend, and then keep on going south down to Sydney, be in Sydney for a few days, and then fly over to New Zealand. But just looking at the logistics, and also how the flights work here, even from Uluru, to get to Cairns, would mean me flying through Brisbane anyway. So I might just go to Brisbane, see my friend there, up to Cairns, and then straight to, down to Sydney. Anyway, boring stuff, but I kind of like it. I like doing all these investigating. Um, it's a little bit shit that all I have is my phone and my iPad. And, well, it's just the internet here is crap. Really, really bad. Yeah, things are a little bit slow. It's better at the theatre, but then I'm stuck in a black box doing it. It's not good. And I think I'm like staining my eyelids. Like, I know I've got black eyes anyway. But the makeup I use, like you saw in the video prior, like it's staining my eyelids. They're only giving us oil to get it off, which is really good, like it works. But yeah, I don't like to scrub my eyes because they just get on fire. Anyway, really boring stuff now. But yeah, so that's what I'm doing planning my two weeks off can't wait then when i get to new zealand oh, i was going to hire a camper van drive around eight days do the south and north that's going to be easy i can't wait for that i cannot wait for that bit just to get in my car drive where i want mm. Mm. really looking forward to god all right i think i'm gonna go to bed i look like shit.